think your pet's overweight or you've had it diagnosed by your vet, don't worry. There's lots of things you can do to get your pet back on track. Let's start with making sure your pet's getting the right amount of food. If you've been in to see your vet or vet nurse, they will already have given you guidance as to how much you should feed your pet on a daily basis. If not, that's what we're going to do now. It's actually very simple. Feed your pet for what they should weigh, their ideal weight. Many people roughly judge how much their pet should be fed or even fill up the bowl completely. I can promise you pets are no good at regulating what they eat. If you put a bowl of food in front of them, many pets will eat it all. In the wild, food could often be scarce and if it wasn't eaten when presented to them, it could be stolen by another animal. Our domestic pets these days will still have that instinct. They don't know when their next meal may be coming or if someone else will nip in and steal it. So they often eat it all, which, if you're overfeeding them, will quickly pile on the pounds. So for Lucy, I would say she should weigh around 24 kilograms. All I need to do to make sure she's getting the right amount of food is take a look on the packet. Packet guidelines tell you how much to feed your pet per day. So for Lucy, if I'm feeding for what she should weigh, we can see by the packet she should be getting 200 grams per day. The important thing to do here is make sure you do weigh out the food. That way your pet won't be getting any extra. You may be able to start your pet's weight loss program simply by reducing the amount of normal food or your vet or vet nurse may recommend a specific weight loss diet. Either way, the process for feeding them their daily allowance is exactly the same. So what else can you do to help your pet shed the pounds? Exercise. It's so important, not just for their physical health and to get weight off them, but also for their mental well-being. You may find at first that your pet struggles with too much exercise if they're overweight. We don't want to push them too far, too fast, so build up exercise gradually. Be guided by your pet. If you can see they're struggling, stop for the day and try little and often and then work up from there. It's easy to get dogs exercising by making sure they get out and about for regular walks. With all pets, have plenty of toys at home and spend time playing with them. Ideally, you want toys that keep them moving around, so anything they can chase or pounce on is perfect. Even short periods of play every day will really help to kickstart the metabolism and get their weight down. And just as importantly, they'll absolutely love having that one-to-one -one time with you. Who said losing weight couldn't be fun? The next step, and this can be hardest of all, is to cut out the treats. Many pet treats are high in calories, and we've already talked about how fatty human foods can be. So weighing out your pet's food and being strict on their daily allowance is no good if they're getting lots of extra calories through treats. If you really want to treat your pet with a food reward, try taking some of their food out of their daily allowance and giving them this. They won't get any extra calories this way and are still getting a treat. It's a win-win. If you can't resist them begging when you're eating, give them their dinner in a food dispensing toy so they're eating while you are, but it takes them a while to finish. This way, not only do they get the food reward, they have to work for it, helping them to get a little bit of mental and physical exercise too. But remember, there's plenty of other ways to praise or treat your pet. Think about what they really love other than food and give them this. It could be as simple as spending time with you, having a fuss and lots of love. Or maybe they have a favourite toy and spending a bit of extra time every day playing with you and their toy is exactly what they're looking for. Some pets love to be groomed and it gives you that all-important bonding time with your pet. Whatever your pet's passion, use it. We hope this has helped give you a greater understanding of pet obesity and how you can tackle it. It can take time for pets to lose weight, so don't be disheartened if you don't see weight coming off quickly. It has to be a gradual process, but with patience, persistence and sometimes willpower from you, your pet will lose the weight and enjoy a much happier, much healthier lifestyle. Good luck.